Hello, hello everyone. We are about to start. If you are watching the recording, the replay, you might need to advance a few minutes because we're going to do some testing here. But this is Paulino and I hope you can see me now. Yes, can you see me now? Say hello in the chat below, below. Say hello and tell me if you can hear me. I will be, I will be right back. Don't worry, I am here. <laughs> and we'll start soon with the Language Learning Summit. It's a party. Um, get yourself a drink or something. <laughs> tell me if you can hear me. I will be right back. Thank you. another test audio 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 test uh, hopefully you can hear me say hello tell me where you are from leave a comment in the chat below this video we are here at the language learning summit live page if you're watching this recording you might want to advance a couple of minutes we're going to start soon just let me know who you are where you're from and if you can hear me we're gonna start really soon thank you
and hello. This is actually the beginning of the Language Learning Summit. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Language Learning Summit. I see so many friends that are joining us. Wendy from Malta. Attilio says hello from Bergamo, Italy. Hello there. Anam says we can hear you from Ukraine. Natalie from Ukraine. Hello. And Norbert from Poland, but now living in Mexico. And then we have Teresa from Santa Lucia, Northern Italy, and Lucine from Armenia. Hello. I'm so excited that you are here with me today because I've been working on the Language Learning Summit for a long time, and I really want this to be a celebration of language learning. So I do have a few things to show you so that you can take advantage of the whole event. The Language Learning Summit, it's two weeks. We're starting today, February 11 to February 24, and there are many things going on, so I want to show you today and maybe answer your questions. So if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. I'll do my best to keep track of the questions. Bear with me. I'm doing all kind of things live here. One thing that is very important is that you need to be registered at the Language Learning Summit to be able to see the content and participate. Now, when I say participate, it doesn't mean just to watch a lot of videos, which you can. There are more than 50 talks at the Language Learning Summit, a wide range of language-related topics. I'm sure you'll find something you like. But my hope is that you have a full two weeks to watch all the content so that you can learn from different perspectives and connect with other presenters and connect with other participants. So one thing that is different at the Language Learning Summit is not just watching recordings, but also participating. You are here in the chat today. Hello. I see a lot of people here. Perfect. I'm so excited that you're here. If you're watching the recording, you can leave a comment in the chat as well, or you can connect with me at the Language Learning Summit. Um, there are many sessions that will be at a specific time and a specific day. So the first thing first, you need to be registered to be part of the Language Learning Summit. So let me show you how to be, uh, how to register at the Language Learning Summit. We'll be right back. Watch these instructions. How to register for the Language Learning Summit. Go to languagelearningsummit.com. At the top of the page, click on Register Here. On this page, you will have the registration form. With your registration, you will have access to all talks live sessions and panels, networking gatherings, and language practice groups during the Language Learning Summit from February 11 to February 24, 2018. If you have a discount coupon code, please enter the coupon code and click Apply Coupon before placing your order. And we are back. Now, do you have any questions about registration? Have you registered at the Language Learning Summit? Let me know in the comments if you have registered. If you have not registered, do it today so you can start using uh, the content, watching the content, and uh, being part of the summit. Now, um, as you notice, there is a prize for the Language Learning Summit for two weeks, only $17. Now, there is a discount coupon code that you can use. If you stay until the end of this session, I'll let you know. But also, many of the presenters have been sharing that code on their social media. So if you're following the presenters, you can get that code. But if you stay here until the end, 
I can share it with you as well. Now, um, please, Remember to be typing your questions as we go along. I'll make sure to, or try my best to answer your questions now, but you can always leave a comment and I will go back and answer your questions. So I, you just saw a video how to register, pretty straightforward, um, clicking on the register link uh, from the home page. Once you register, you will receive your login information. So let's have a look how you can log in after you register, how you can log in into the Language Learning Summit to start looking at all the content. Have a look. How to log in to Language Learning Summit to have access to the content. After you register, you will receive two emails from the account mail at languagelearningsummit.com. Check your email, and if you don't see these emails, please remember to check the spam folder, or if you use Gmail, other folders such as social or promotions. For example, here I got one email, the registration confirmed email, but I will look in my promotions folder, and here it is, your Lang Summit details. In this case, make sure to Click and drag this email to your primary inbox and confirm so that you won't miss any emails in the future. One email is the confirmation and the other, your Lang Summit details, will include your password to log in into the website. Copy that password and go to languagelearningsummit.com on top, click on Login and enter your email and password and click Login. If you did not receive the email with your password information or you misplaced it, click on the Forgot Password link, enter your email and then click on Send Resent link so that you can reset your password. After you enter your email and password and click Login, you will be redirected to the site and you will notice that on top it says Log Out. That means that you are logged in and you can start browsing the content of the site. Here's a pro tip. When you log in, check the Remember Me for Two Weeks box and then you will not have to worry about your password for the whole duration of the summit. Okay, did you catch that pro tip at the end? The summit is two full weeks. And if you check that box that says, remember me for two weeks, you're all set. You don't have to worry about your password for the whole summit. Every time you come in to the website, you'll be logged in. Now, um, one of the things that you saw in the video, you had to be registered and log in to see all the content. And you can start doing that right after this session. But, <clears throat> excuse me. Mm. Don't go anywhere yet, because I have a lot of things to tell you. Now, um, <clears throat> one of the things is, that you can start right away to look at the talks and I'll show you right now how to find the talks. Now, I have to be honest, I've been working all night to finish up some details and I'm still uploading some of the talks to the site. I'll finish all today for sure, but you might find that some of the talks are still not available today, Sunday, February 11. But don't worry, they'll be available soon for everyone who is registered. So let me check if there are any questions. Atilio says, uh, register with my coupon. Excellent. Thank you, Atilio. And we have Kika from Iowa. Hola, Kika. Como estas? I'm so happy to see uh, some new friends, some old friends here supporting me at the Language Learning Summit. 
So one of the things that I mentioned today was that there are more than 50 talks. Now the cool thing is that they're not long, there are about 18 minutes max. So I really hope you have a chance to look around and see the diversity of perspectives in language learning. So as what is different from other conferences is that there's no schedule for these recorded talks because they're available the whole time. So let me show you how you can find these talks. So there is a page, <clears throat> there is a page to find the talks and I'm going to show you right now how you can navigate the site to find the pre-recorded talks. And we're going to talk about the other events in a minute. Now, see how you can find all the talks that you can watch these next two weeks. How to watch recorded talks at the Language Learning Summit. There are more than 50 recorded talks at the Language Learning Summit covering a wide range of topics related to language learning. And you can watch them all between February 11 to February 24 when you register for the Language Learning Summit. So after you register, go to languagelearningsummit.com. On the top of the page, click on Login and enter your email and password. Click on the Login button and you will be back to the home page, but now you're logged in. Using the primary menu, click on Talks. On this page, you will find different ways to discover talks. For example, you can search by a category, let's say online teachers. When you click on that category, you will see a list of talks with a preview of the name, title, and description. Just click on any talk that you are interested in and you can watch the video on that page. On the talks page, you can also browse several talks titles from one category. Where it says Browse Talks, you can click on a category and you will see several talks under that category with the name and title only. Just click on Read More to go to that page and watch that talk. Some participants have asked for a list of talks alphabetically by title and also by presenter. I will be adding those lists here at the bottom of this page. Another way to discover talks is by talks that are featured. Come to the home page often and I will be featuring some talks on the home page. And you can also discover talks that we recommend daily on our social media channels. Go to the bottom of the page and you will find the link to the Facebook page, the Twitter account, and the YouTube account. Follow the Language Summit on social media to get recommendations. And don't forget to share your experience of the Language Learning Summit on social media using the hashtag LangSummit. Pro tip. At the bottom of each page, you will find more information about each presenter. After watching their video, keep the conversation going. Use their contact information to ask them questions or leave a comment at the bottom of the page. You can also use one of the social media sharing buttons to share this presentation with all your friends. Okay, how was that? Hopefully, the videos are clear. I've been trying to create these videos beforehand to try to make them as clear as possible and not trying to do all live. You know, when you're live, I'm watching at two screens and several pages here, um, but I'm having fun to see so many uh, friendly faces in the chat. And remember, to, you can ask uh, your questions there. Now, I do. I see a comment from Karina that says, "Hello from Austria. I hope I can stay away for the talks in Europe. It's a bit later." So let me tell you something, Karina. When I say talks, are I'm referring to the pre-recorded 
talks. These are all videos, as I showed in the, in the tutorial that I just showed, that are about 18 minutes long. And you can watch your talks at your own time. That's the beauty of it. You register and you can watch the talks at your own time. Maybe you can watch five today, one tomorrow. Maybe you have some time during the week to see here during your lunch time, during your lunch break. You have the full two weeks to see all of them, more than 50. So those you can see at your own time because they are recorded. You're going to watch the videos. And of course, you can connect with the presenters by leaving a comment on their pages. Now, the live sessions, and by the way, there's a special live sessions coming up at noon central time with Steve Kaufman, one excellent polyglot who will be talking about using authentic material and making it comprehensible. So don't go away or come back in an hour for that. Um, but uh, those sessions, the live sessions and panels are at a specific time. And then the networking sessions and group sessions, which we're going to talk about in a minute, are a specific time. Now, the live sessions and the live panels will be like you see right now on this page, on the languagelearningsummit.com slash live. You will, you will be able to interact in the comments and they will also be recorded. So if you're not able to attend the live session, you can watch the recording later. But the talks, they are already recorded, so you can watch them at any time. And Teresa says, Paulino, will you tell us about yourself? Where are you from? What is your journey in language learning? Well, hello. <laughs> Thank you. I'm Paulino Brenner. Thank you for your question, Teresa. I know that a lot of people start kind of webinars talking a lot about themselves. I been talking about myself everywhere. I'm so excited to share my baby, the Language Learning Summit, that I want to give you all the information you need right now. But don't go away. We can talk about myself and my language learning and your language learning soon. In fact, you can join me, yes, right here on the screen, knock, 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 and tell me about your language learning, <clears throat> your language learning journey. Okay, um, we have Elena from Bologna, hello, and uh, <clears throat> someone left a message saying, Chatango, I can't sign up, what's that? Well, you're making a comment, so you are, um, you are already leaving a comment, so you signed up. Uh, don't worry about signing up in Chatango, the chat, you can be... Um, <clears throat> The chat is a different system, so that's something that I need to explain maybe. The chat window below is kind of a different system. It's not connected with your membership or your registration. So when you go there, you can just put your name and that's fine. Don't worry too much about it. It's a way to interact. Now, one thing is, I mentioned that there are live sessions that are going to appear on this page, live panels that are going to appear on this page. And separate, there are going to be some meetings. We're going to meet virtually. In fact, today is Sunday. There are two meetings, and I hope you can. some of you can attend. There are networking sessions. Imagine you are at a conference, and you attend a session, and then you go out in the hallway and start chatting with people. Well, this is the same thing. It's a conference. It's a summit. It's a party. So we're going to get together virtually. There is a schedule for specific times for those live sessions, live panels, and networking sessions, and also language practice groups, uh, because this is about language learning. After all, why not practice the language you are learning? And I'm going to show you the scheduled page of the Language Learning Summit and how you can use it. Now, pay attention to the time zone where they are, that it's shown on that page, okay? I don't want to hear any question, what is my time zone for this event? I will explain it to you in this video. If you have any questions, post it in the chat. Look at this. How to use the schedule at the Language Learning Summit. As you know, all the more than 50 recorded talks 
are available all the time between February 11 and February 24 if you're registered for the Language Learning Summit. There are other events and sessions that are on a specific date and time. That's why if you go to languagelearningsummit.com in the primary menu, you'll see a link to the schedule. And this open in a new page that it's free of uh, distraction, so you can focus on the schedule. Now, you will see that all the times are shown in CST, which is Central Standard Time. So when you come to this page, all the times here are shown on Central Standard Time. It also says at the bottom of the calendar, shown in time zone central standard time. You can look at them as a week, click on the week tab and you see all the events that week as a month or as an agenda listed there by date and time. So for example, if you want to convert central standard time to your local time, one thing you can do is go to Google and for example if an event it's at 10 a.m. CST Central Standard Time type that type the time of the event from the schedule to and then the city where you are if you know your time zone code you can do that or you can just type Madrid time for example and Google will tell you that 10 a.m. at Central Time, it's 5 p.m. in Madrid. So that's one way that you can convert all the times that appear here. So for example, we have a language practice groups at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time on Friday. So, if we want to know what is that time, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time in, let's say, Moscow time, that would be at 3 a.m. on Monday in Moscow time. So, the following day, if the session is on Friday, like this one is the language practice groups, it's on Friday at 6 p.m. This is showing me that 6 p.m. on Sunday, it's at 3 a.m. on Monday. So the following day at 3 a.m. So our friends in Moscow, Russia, if you want to, if you want to join us, that would be for you Saturday at 3 a.m. <laughs> Uh, there is another way that you can use this calendar. If you are a Google Calendar user, you can click this plus sign and add this calendar to your Google Calendar. So I'm going to show you an example. If you use Gmail like this, you can click on the apps here and go to your calendar. Now I'm going to pretend that my calendar is on GMT time zone, not on central time. So as you can see in my settings, the primary time zone for this calendar is a GMT. So I'm going to go back to the Google Calendar. When you are on the scheduled page, you will see all the events shown at central standard time on this page you are on the Language Learning Summit schedule page, all the events are shown in Central Standard Time. Now if you want an easier way to convert all the events, you can add this to your Google Calendar by clicking this plus sign. It will ask you do you want to add this calendar and click on add and now it's one of the calendars that you can see. Because you added it to your Google Calendar that has your local time, 
now all the events are converted. So for example, in the scheduled page that it's showing at Central Standard Time, it says Sunday, February 11 at 10 a.m., the Lang Summit opening session. When you convert it to your time, it shows that it's on Sunday, February 11 at 4 p.m. That's because your Google Calendar has your time. And when you add it, it will convert all the events. So that's another way that you can use the schedule page at Language Learning Summit. Okay, was that clear? Central Standard Time? <laughs> you can't imagine how many times I get this question. So this event, uh, what, when is it at my local time? Well, you can, uh, you are online, you are in an online conference, so um, please use that schedule to find your local time. Now, why is that schedule important? Because I told you there are live sessions and live events and live panels and networking sessions and they happen as they have to happen at a specific time so you can all get together here and ask questions and participate talking about participating in the chat i uh included the link to join me here live so when i'm finished with this presentation uh if you would like to come and talk to me for a couple of minutes say hi to the world uh don't be shy and you can just say who you are what you do feel free to click that link it's a zoom room and by clicking that link you will be in the wait room and then at the end of this presentation i'll let you in now <clears throat> this Schedule is important because it will give you the times and the dates for the live sessions, live panels, and networking sessions and language practice sessions. Let me show you where they are. I'm going to switch to the website. If you can let me know in the comments if you can still hear me, that would be great because sometimes when I do that, something strange happens. So I'm going to switch to the website and if you cannot hear me right away, please let me know. Here we go. So you should be able to hear me right now. And uh, this is the homepage for the Language Learning Summit. This rotating banner here right now, it has the start here, um, the opening session, but this will change as we move along. I will be featuring different talks. One thing that is important here on top is the live sessions link and the networking link. Hopefully you can still hear me. I think you can still hear me. Yes. Okay. So when you click on live sessions, you will go to this page right here. This is us. This is you. This is the chat. Yes. So if I click play here, this is what's going on right now, this presentation. On this page, you will see all the live sessions. You will see all the live sessions. And below this video, you can see, you can leave a comment if you want, but you can see the schedule for all the sessions. So today at 10 a.m. Central Time, we already started our opening session. But at 12 p.m. Central Time, Steve Kaufman will join me and he will talk about how to make authentic content into comprehensible input. So, please come back at noon Central Time to hear Steve Kaufman and ask your question. Now, here you can see all the live sessions for this week and I will be adding the live sessions for next week. So all the live sessions will be here. All you have to do is to come to this page. So when you go to the live sessions, one thing I did is remove distractions. Yes, 
I removed distractions for you so you can focus on here. So you just need to be on the homepage. Don't worry, I will add a link here to the homepage. Right now I just wanted to avoid distractions. But all live sessions and live panels will be on this page and you will be able to participate in the chat here or in the comments and here you have the schedule. Now, from the home page, you also have the networking and language practice. From the home page at languagelearningsummit.com, we have networking and language practice. When we click there, you have the links to join the networking gatherings and the language practice groups. Now let's go to, I'm going to go to camera for a second. My goal at the Language Learning Summit is not only that you get a lot of content from all the talks and all the live sessions and live panels. My goal is that we get to know each other as a language learning community. We get to exchange ideas, get together and say, hey, did you see that video about blah, blah, blah? What do you think? and talk to each other. So that's why I created these opportunities to meet. Now, these opportunities to meet <clears throat> at are the, net, the networking sessions, which are informal gatherings, which is get together and talk, as simple as that. Talk about what we saw, talk about what we are doing, talk about our favorite app in language learning. Talk about topics that we all are passionate about. Now on this page, you can see, you can see that these gatherings will happen at certain times. For example, today, Sunday, February 11, we have one from 5.30 p.m. until 7.30 p.m. What you need to do is to click on this link that says, click here to reserve your spot. Why? Because I cannot have a thousand people. <laughs> well, there's not a thousand people in the summit yet, maybe soon. But so that I can send you a notification. Unfortunately, I can't tell everyone a notification for every event because not everyone is interested. That's why I ask you that you register for the networking events or language practice groups that you are interested so I can send a notification just to you and say, hey, we're about to start and you will get a link to join a room. In fact, I'll show you. So when you click on this link, it will go to a page like this. It says meeting registration. You just give me your name, last name, and your email. So that and click on register. And this is not registry, uh, uh, registration to the summit, but to that specific meeting. And all this is explained here to that specific meeting so that you can get a notification when you sign up for that meeting. There is one meeting today at 5.30. For all the night owls out there, there is another one at 9 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. These are perfect opportunities to meet other people. There's two more meetings tomorrow, 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. on Monday, uh, February 12th, 5.30 p.m. to 7.30 Central Standard Time. And again at 9, night owls at 9 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. And on Friday, February 16, there will be a language practice groups, which you can also sign up for. The dates for next week are there. There's still no sign up because I'm going to add them later. Now, how will the language practice group work? Let me tell you. We'll get together first and we'll uh, talk about <clears throat> uh, our experience in general, but then we'll break up into groups. All the people who want to practice Spanish will go into a room. All the people who want to practice French will go into another room. 
In that way, we can uh, practice the language we're learning with other people who are learning the same language. If you happen to be the only one learning a specific language, let's say Esperanto or American Sign Language, well, there will be one room um, for all the loners there, and you can discuss different ways to uh, help, your, help each other learn that language, where, where you're finding resources and stuff like that. But other than that, we'll just get together and then talk a little bit together and then divide ourselves in different groups according to language. Now, um, let me see if I have any questions here. Someone says, I added the, let me look at the questions. And I see some people waiting in the wait room, so they'll join soon. I'll let them in soon and, you, and we can talk to them. Uh, let me look at the questions. It says, Elizabeth, happy to participate in this event. Hello, Elizabeth. Uh, Wendy says, I would like to see the schedule before I register. Wendy, let me tell you this. One thing that is important, when you register, you get access to all 50 talks, more than 50 talks that are already there pre-recorded. And then from the homepage, languagelearningsummit.com, click on schedule and you can see the full schedule for the live event and the networking sessions. And um, Diego says, all the networking and gatherings are at night in Europe. Is there a possibility to have some networking earlier for the Europe crowd? Thank you. Well, Diego, that's an excellent question. This is what we can do. I will, um, if you haven't joined yet, I will put the link to the Language Learning Summit Facebook group. And in that group, will do, we can do a poll and we can vote for a better time to do networking. And then we can do networking at another time, certainly. I set up some networking times, but definitely we can do at other times. So if you haven't joined the Language Learning Summit Facebook group, I invite you to join. The link is in the description, but I will send it by email as well. And definitely, we can set up a networking session just for the Europe folks. So we just need to agree on a time that would work for you and we'll be on our way. Let me check if there are any other questions. Someone responded to Wendy and said where you can find the schedule. And she said that you could register using the code. Um, and if you use the code, it only costs $2 to register. And I'll give you the code at the end of this session. Maybe one of the two people who are waiting here uh, know the code. Well, I'll ask them. So once again, for those who are in Europe, just to answer again to Diego's question, um, we can certainly do networking sessions and language practice sessions at other times um, that is better for Europe, we'll just have to agree on a time in the Language Learning Summit Facebook group. So that's about it. I think I covered everything, hopefully. Hopefully everything's clear. Keep adding your questions. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see my waiting room here because I have people waiting. I don't want them to wait any longer. So I'm going to bring them in. And let's see who we have here. Hello, hello. What a surprise, everyone. We have here Attilio, we have here Karina, Anna, and Lucine. So if you want to put on your video, that's fine. And if you don't want to, that's fine as well. And hopefully I can hear you. Let's see. Can any of you talk? Hello, Anna, how are you? I'm doing great. 
I'm doing great. Thank you for being here. Ana Martinez, everyone, one of the presenters. Thank you so much for being here with me. Perfect. And Ana habla español, así que podemos hablar un poco de español. So everyone, if you're watching the recording or if you're watching the live session, right now we are, um, I cover most of what I wanted to tell you for the Language Learning Summit. Hopefully everything was clear, but you can still post your questions in the chat. Um, and I will try to answer them. But right now I have some friends here who want to talk and maybe they have some questions. Now I do hear some sound, so make sure you have your headset. Okay, so Lucine, how are you? Great, nice to have you here. And Atilio, can you say hello? I tell you, you might need to unmute yourself or turn in, turn in the audio. This is Zoom, by the way, for everyone who is interested. I'm bringing people inside my Zoom room and people can, um, uh, this is how we're going to do the networking sessions, but they're not going to be broadcast live. So I see here, Diego. Hello, Diego. Woohoo! Nice to meet you too. And I see Scott. Hola, Scott. ¿Cómo estás? Muy bien. And I see Karina. Hello, Karina. Hello, how are you? Perfect. And I see, yay. And I see Atilio who might be trying to figure out the mic. So because we are on a live session right now, I can't take a lot of time to help you with the tech part, but when we do are doing networking, I will be doing that. So Atilio, if you can figure out the sound, just check on the microphone that is on the lower left, and maybe you can join uh, with audio here. So my friends, thank you for joining me in this party the Language Learning Summit opening party. And, oh, uh, someone is telling me what happened with the sound. So let me, <laughs> this always happened to me. So uh, people could not hear you before, but hopefully now we can. So we're gonna have to do it again. I'm gonna say hello quickly to all of you. I always do this. So please forgive me. Hola, Ana. Hola, hello, everybody. How are you? Hello, Lucine. Hello, Paulino. Hola, Diego. Hola, Paulino. Hola, Scott. Hola. Hola. Hi, everybody. Hello, Karina. Hello, everybody. And Atilio is trying to figure it out. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So, sorry we lost the audio for a little bit, but we are back. So, hopefully, let us know in the chat if you can hear. Um, uh, they were very quiet. Yes. So now you should be able to hear them fine. So uh, tell me, everyone, what is, um, do you have any questions about the Language Learning Summit? Today is the beginning of this party. And do you have any questions? Not yet. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. So you're just here to hang out, which is great. Now, for everyone watching the recording or the live sessions, I told them, that if you haven't registered yet, that you could register with a special code mm -hmm. to pay only $2 for two weeks of this amazing gathering of language lovers. Now, do any of you know what the code is, the special code? Someone does? It looks like Anna does. <laughs> Yes, I do, but let me check. I don't want to say it. I think I, I can say it now. I think I know it by heart, but I'm not sure. You correct me if I'm okay. Can I say it? You can say it, yes. Yeah. So it's a big honor to say the code. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, I, <laughs> so I think that is celebrate languages, right? Celebrate languages, definitely, yes. <laughs> The coupon code is going to be, I'm going to yeah. put it in the chat for everyone, but celebrate languages all together. If you go and register, um, it's, uh, 
you know, my goal, let me put it in the chat, celebrate languages. There we are. So uh, now that we all sound, hopefully everyone is hearing everyone. I, I checked the chat and people saying, yes, yes, now we can hear you. Um, my goal with this gathering is that we can all share some time talking about our passion about language learning, learning from each other and sharing perspectives. It does help me a little bit that you contribute with $2 for two weeks um, for all this effort and um, putting not only the event together, but covering some of the costs. Um, but I do hope that people really come out of this experience getting to know different perspectives because um, someone asked me today about my language journey and I've been studying English since I was six. I won't tell you how old I am right now, but it's been a while, <laughs> a few decades. <laughs> and um, I always was interested in many different cultures. So I went to, uh, when I became a teacher, a Spanish, a ling English teacher first, a Spanish teacher later, I went to conferences for language teachers in the classroom, conferences for online teachers. I organized my own, own conferences for online teachers. And then I went to Langfest in Montreal for polyglots. And I thought, we have a lot of wise people in this world who are really passionate about language learning. And we have all these different perspectives why not bring them all together in a virtual event so we can be from anywhere in the world and share those perspectives with each other. And I think we can all learn from each other, but also grow in our language learning journey. So that's, that's my hope. Um, and I'm uh, so grateful that you're here with me today to start this off. And does, and do any of you have any questions or comments at this time? Oh, no one has a question. Let me think. I'm not going to let you alone with no questions, Paulino. Okay, yeah, we have yeah. to find something. Yeah. Ah, the thing is, like, you explained everything so good. So after all that, we cannot have any questions. You're so good. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> and um, <clears throat> um, one of uh, one other thing that I would like to say is that we are in a virtual world where we are all very um, uh, always running from one place to another, attached to our phones. But hopefully, we can uh, find the times to connect to other people. And let's see if my friends here can uh, remember. What are some ways that you can connect with other either presenters or participants at the Language Learning Summit? So since you're here, I'm going to put you to the test. Tell me, what are some ways that you, you think you can connect with other participants at the Language Learning Summit? Lucy. Networking. Yeah, mm -hmm. networking. So uh, how can you network at the Language Learning Summit? Uh, I think we will uh, gather in a room, in separate rooms, uh, the different language learners. Let's say I will learn not Spanish, uh, not Spanish, either French or English, or if there are Armenian students who would wish uh, to be my students, please, uh, I am open. So we will gather in a room and start uh, chatting, uh, teaching, etc., and learning. Definitely. And there is a page for that, the networking page, where you can see all the schedule. And the thing that is different about the networking sessions, you see here that I am with one, two, three, four, five, six people. Um, there, will, there will be maybe six people or more inside a Zoom room just like this. You won't be able to see it from outside. You will have to be in the Zoom room. And for that, you have to go to the networking page and reserve your spot. So you can, at the time where that networking happens, you can join here and we can all talk. Oh, so that, okay. that's one way. What's another way to connect with other participants? In each, uh, let's say, profile, there's the social media where we can find other other panelists or other people. So yeah, I check a, a little bit all the presentation and I already found a few people that I'm very interested to meet 
and talk to them because I really like what they do and what they say. So yeah, it's another way to find, to do networking. Definitely. So these presenters have uh, spent their time and they are very generous to give their time, their expertise and their ideas. So do find on the presenters page their, their contact information. If you're interested about their topics, go and connect with them uh, because I'm sure they will be very happy to hear from you and what you have to say. What else? Anybody has any other ideas? Uh, the, 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 you said that there will be like live uh, session where people will talk about topics or everything. So there will be a chat, I think, right? So where people can write, uh, make questions and maybe do some networking too. If they find the perfect person to talk about some topics or something. Exactly, exactly. So all the live sessions will be at languagelearningsummit.com slash live, just like today. And you'll find the chat, the chat box below, where you can, um, um, where you can, Lucine says she has to go. That's okay, Lucine. Bye-bye. Oh, no, is it Kari oh, Karina? Sorry. No, Lucine. I'm sorry, Lucine. I'm sorry. I'm apologizing. Karina has to go. I'm sorry. Bye-bye, Karina. <laughs> okay. So the all the live sessions will be on the live page. And um, you can participate in the chat and connect with other people there as well. And there is a Facebook group where you can connect with other people. And I will say that sharing your experience on social media using the hashtag. Hmm, what could the hashtag be? Does anybody remember the hashtag? Um, Lang Summit. Lang Summit. L A N G summit so if you use the hashtag lang summit when you post something about the language learning summit maybe an idea that you learn in a recorded session or a live panel post it on social media with that hashtag and you can find what other people are saying about the language learning summit and let me tell you what that is not all <laughs> Many people think I'm crazy and I might be a little crazy, but those are some of the ways that you can participate and connect with other people. But um, when we are in a context like this, it's nice to learn about other people, but it's nice to learn different ways to mm, mm -hmm. to use technology to meet with other people. And a lot of people at the Language Learning Summit our teachers. So I will be giving you some ideas of how to use technology to meet with other people. And my friends, I think for now that's about it. <laughs> Very good. Okay. Muy bien, Paulino. Paulino for president. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, good. And Diego, was it you that asked the question about networking at different times? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, it was me. Okay, mm. great. So yeah, I, did, I did my question before, so that's why I'm so silent now. So, I just, so, uh, so quiet yeah, now. Okay. Took my five minutes of. You know. <laughs> great. So I will. Uh, I will say that again. Um, there is a schedule. If you go to languagelearningsummit.com and click on schedule, you'll see it there. Um, and there are some networking sessions and language practice sessions there, but definitely um, I'll be happy to schedule other networking sessions at other time. I just need to make sure that there is a, at least a group of people who are interested. So I'm gonna work on that inside the Language Learning Summit Facebook group. That's a mouthful. <laughs> Language Learning Summit Facebook group. I'm going to post the link to the group in the chat one more time so people can join. But I will be sending it by email so that we can create other opportunities to uh, be together. How's that? Good. Great. Good. Good. So, it's been an hour, an hour of opening session for Language Learning Summit. The celebration started. I need to save a little bit of voice because in one hour, 
that's at noon central time i will be talking with steve kaufman a very renowned and very known uh well-known polyglot and he is one of the founders of link and he'll be talking about does anybody know what he's talking about Oh, or let me ask you this where can i find out what he's talking about in the, in the schedules yeah in the schedule yeah, and also true. in the language learning summit.com live page we have the schedule for the live sessions how to make authentic content into comprehensible input how to make authentic content into comprehensible input so i We'll certainly have some questions for him, but hopefully everybody or as many people as possible can join me. Sorry that it's late. It's a little late in, in Europe. Maybe not too late. In no. one hour, how long? How late it's is seven. it? It's 7, 7. p.m. So not okay. too late for Europe. Hopefully you can join us um, uh, for that. And uh, what about in Armenia? In one hour, what time is going to be? 10 p.m. 10 p.m. No. Okay, so not too late. If you're able, come and join us. And Scott, what hour is going to be? What time is going to be in one hour for you? It'll be noon here. Noon. Oh, are we in the same time zone? <laughs> yeah. Okay. And I'm kidding, maybe. And, and 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 look at this. It's kind of funny. Anna and Diego that are right there are on yeah. one time zone. Scott and I on one time zone. This was all prepared like this. I <laughs> I I made it. I made sure that we were co correlated with our time zones. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you everyone for joining me. I'm going to say bye-bye. Uh, bye-bye. Thank you everyone for joining me here. And thank you everyone who is watching out there. I will see you in an hour right here on this page for our talk with Steve Kaufman. And thank you to Anna, Diego, Scott, Lucina, and Attilio for joining me in Zoom. Bye-bye everyone. Take bye -bye. care. Bye. Thank you, Paulino. Bye. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye.